Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Farsi Azarbayan, and I love shooting films. I love shooting 35 millimeter, medium format, super 8, and super 16. And today in this video, we're going to be comparing three of the super 8 cameras that I have. The first camera is the Sears 155 3x zoom. This cost me about $20. The second camera, Niso 156 macro, which cost me $250. And the third camera is Canon Auto Zoom 814 that cost me roughly $500. And today I will be talking to you guys about how this camera varies in quality of shooting and the pros and cons of these cameras. Now to begin with, let's talk about these two cameras. The Super 8 camera that cost me $20 and the Super 8 camera that cost me $250. I took these two cameras to a trip to Mexico and I think I really love my time with these cameras. I love the Niso camera. The Niso camera has an amazing glass. The focus is amazing. There is no glare. And the zoom is electronical, which means I don't have to manually zoom in. I hope you know what I mean. And what are the cons with this camera? Let's talk about the cons about this camera. The first time I put a Super 8 card fresh in there I was shooting and shooting I was shooting for about half a day and then I figured out that I probably shot more than three minutes and this thing is keep going the mirror would show me that the film is still full so I took out the cartridge to see that it was not shooting at all at that point I took out that cartridge and I put it in this camera the Sears 155 and it shot perfectly fine but the pro of this camera is the glass and the lens is amazing. Everything that I shot with this is beautiful. After the first roll failed, I put another roll in there and that just shot perfectly. I had no problem in that and I love the picture quality that came out. I love the electronical zoom. It is flawless. I love the viewfinder. Even though it's very small, it is amazing and everything is pretty clear as I look at it, especially when I'm fully zoomed. I honestly love this camera. I may have overpaid for it at that time, but I have no regret because the glass is amazing. I don't think I ever shot something with this that was not in focus or at least 85% of the time, everything that I shot with this camera was in focus. Beside that one con that I had with this camera, I would never ever leave this camera or let it go out of my sight. Let's talk about the Sears 155 3x zoom. This camera was the first Super 8 camera I bought. I bought this in 2017 and I never shot with this until 2020 when I went to Mexico because I was terrified of the idea of shooting with film. But enough talking about my scariness, let's talk about the camera. There are a lot of flaws in this camera, but at the end of the day, it is a Super 8 camera. I don't think the quality that comes out of these three cameras are much different. One thing that I really love about this Super 8 camera is the viewfinder. Now, what is the con of this camera? So the biggest con of this camera came out when I went to this place called Chichen Itza. I put it in my bag, and as soon as I put it in my bag, I heard a sound and I did not know where it is coming from. I had three or four cameras in my bag and by the time I figured out that there is this top button that runs and doesn't run, it was too late. I already lost half of my film. So at that point, I realized this is not a reliable camera at all. Now, when it comes to quality, I think everything I got out of this camera was very satisfying. I loved it. It wasn't the best footage that I've seen from a Super 8 camera, but I think I can live with it. I can definitely live with it. So for a beginner and someone who is in a little bit of small budget, also this is an amazing camera. Now last but not the least, this Canon camera, the Canon Zoom 814. 
Now you might ask, what is so special about this camera that cost me $500? I honestly don't know. The moment I bought this camera, this had no scratch at all. And it also came with a bag. Now this camera is amazing. It has a lot of feature. It has manual focus. It has autofocus. It also has an exposure compensation dial as well. Just like the Niso, it also have a electronic zoom, which is very, very nice. I love the fact that I can zoom in very smoothly without a glitch, which I have in the $20 camera. You see this, I have to use this to zoom in manually, which can be a little bit glitchy at times, but it does serve the purpose. What is my one complaint about this camera? I would be very honest and say I did not shoot enough with this camera to have any complaint. One thing that I really love about this camera is how amazing, amazing is the focus is. I literally have never shot anything with this camera that was not in focus, which is an amazing deal. And beside that, I love this camera. I could not ever say anything bad about this camera except the fact that I cannot shoot 36 frame on this beside that it's an amazing camera this is a collection piece it came in a black bag which I absolutely love and thus includes my first episode of film with Farsi Azerbaijan and yeah stay tuned to see more